All right, y'all, back at site. Uh, got the dog back from the vet. He's okay. He's gonna be fine. My neighbors are friends again. We're all good. Everything's good. All right. And I got this box set up, so let me show you uh, what that looks like. And I'll show you the setup that I got for the air creek unit myself. All right, there you go. So this is what it looks like once you get all the strings in. This is like a grid, if you can see that. <clears throat> I gotta oil it down. I got a sprayer with just regular cooking vegetable oil. This is my mixing bucket. About to put some water in it. The bags of concrete, I cut those open in half, put one half in, mix it the other half in, and then turn on my foamer, and there's the uh, trash can for the soap. Got that filled up because I've learned that it takes pretty much all that to, to get through this brick pour. So, anyways, yeah, there we go. This is off the grid. Brick pour. So let's go ahead and do it. All right. Hey, how's everybody doing right now? Hey, hey. All right. So I uh, did the brick pour yesterday. This is what it looks like when it's like you know nice and firm. You're pretty much cured at this point. Almost forgot to pull the strings last night because uh, I didn't finish the brick pour till about four, and I ended up pulling the strings around like midnight. And I was like, they were, you know, usually you can pull them like around six hours in but yeah I came out here I was like holy crap I forgot to pull the strings start pulling them if you don't pull these strings to cut the bricks before it cures you're never gonna it's just you're gonna be left with you know a thousand pounds of concrete and nothing to do with it so yeah you gotta gotta think you know and that's the thing you you, you plan every every step and you you have to make sure that you're doing it accordingly so let me show you what it looks like with string cord uh, pulled and then um, these are about to be ready to come out here pretty soon so you see these like little tiny cuts um obviously i didn't do like the perfect job last night because i had been holding the flashlight while i was trying to do these um but yeah these are see, some of these are just like i'm gonna lose a few of them but as long as i have enough to work with that's fine i went ahead and moved all my bricks from there inside and I went ahead and did another layer. So let me show you. Let me show you what we got. So we got another layer going up, all the way across. So we that gap, and I got this one going off too. So those are drying, and uh, I think my next course after I pull those things to start working here. I'd like to lower that a little bit lower because I don't want it to be so high. So I'm going to cut that down another foot and then probably start uh, working on closing this thumb in. It'd be nice to get one one shape uh, finished, you know? Because I'm, I'm doing everything as I go, you know? So every piece, like, nothing's done until everything's almost done, basically. Um, so these arches are probably going to be finished before the dome is finished, obviously. And then, so will that dome back there, the, the cylinder dome. Um, but yeah, it's a slow process, but like, you know, you know, one brick at a time. It goes further and further up. Look at this, guys. <laughs> that's how tall it is. I mean, I'm not like seven foot tall, but like, that's, it's, it's nice. It's coming, it's coming in. It's coming in. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. All right, all right, all right. Y'all, I'm so tired. My feet hurt. Took me two Red Bulls to get through today. But I got through it. Now I'm pretty much all at par. Let me show you where I'm at. So, you know, I did these. You know, this is good all the way around. Just today. All that. And these last few hours I've been working on starting to concaving in here. So, it's coming along. You know. Not too much further to go. I gotta figure out how to hold those up there. Um, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet. <coughs> but starting to close in, man. It would be nice to get this closed in by um, uh, by tomorrow. I got like one more day out here, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to stack bricks that high because I can I can only stack one more layer before I have to wrap it and rasp it. So. But it's looking good, doesn't it? You know, it's starting to kind of see it. Oh, all right. Anyways, it's happening. I'll let you know what happens tomorrow. I still have to unload these, and I don't know if I can do it. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. So, yeah. Check y'all later. See you.
know how they say, sometimes you eat the bear and sometimes the bear eats you. But I definitely got eaten by some kind of bear, I tell you what. Guys, this week kicked my butt, okay? Inspired by the dog, burned myself too. It's just too much stuff, man. I did what I could, but I was just like, Nate, you done. And I said, yep, I think I am. Woo! I mean, we got stuff done, y'all. We did a brick pour, we did some layers of bricks, and by one of my last calls, I was like, let's go ahead and rasp it, you know? At least I could do that, I don't have to run the generator. So I cleaned up all these bricks on the second row, so they start taking shape, they don't look so janky. But rasp all the way around. So when I come back, just gotta do that third row. I wanna finish that gum up. And then I went ahead and wrapped all this too. That was that was needed to be done. But yeah, I mean I'll tell y'all what. Whew, what a thing. What a thing. So yeah, just wanna say, guys, I love you. Thank you for watching. Anyways, I do love you so much. I'll see y'all later.